Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you my February favorites. Like always, it's just some products that I have been loving for the past month and I'm excited because this month I've discovered some old favorites but also found some new products that I want to share with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanted to tell you all about was a blush combo that I have been absolutely loving for actually I would say the last few months and it is the Stila Convertible Color in Lilium which is a really nice kind of natural pink shade and then I will go over that with the Benefit Rockateur blush which is a shimmery rose gold color and this is very pretty but on my skin tone it doesn't show up too much on its own but I love how it looks layered over Lilium so these two together have kind of been my go-to blush for the last few months and I really highly recommend both these products obviously together but on their own as well. Now next is a palette I have posted about I think twice on my Facebook page and if you guys don't follow me on Facebook please go like my page it is facebook.com slash Daniellism's blog and I will have a link to it down below but I had been talking about the Urban Decay Shattered Face Case palette. The reason I've been talking about this a lot is because this palette has been going on offer and on sales on many different sites including Ulta, the Urban Decay site, and this is a great little palette and a good value for your money, especially now that it's marked down. In fact, the other day Ulta had this palette on sale for $22. Now let me kind of give you a quick overview because I am really a big fan of it. It has a nice big mirror inside which I'm covering and then you get, let's see, five shades which are kind of grayish purples then you get two lighter colors here with the lightest one being a nice kind of matte beige color it comes with a small size of their 24 7 glide on pencil in zero which is black and you also get a full size of their super saturated high gloss lip color in love child i am wearing all the stuff in this on my face today because I wanted to show you guys that I really am a big fan of this palette. So I have Love Child on my lips. I have the black liner in my um, upper waterline. I am wearing all of these shadows with the exception of this darker gray color right here. And then the cool thing about this palette is it has a second layer on the bottom with another mirror and then you get two blushes. I am wearing this one here today and a highlighter. This palette is worth the money, especially if you can get it for under $30. So I will put links below where you can still get it and hopefully you can pick it up because it's one of my favorite things that I have purchased and been using in the last month. I quickly wanted to throw in my Maybelline Baby Skin. I did a hot or hype video on this, which I will put the link for right here. And if you saw the video, I guess this is a spoiler if you haven't, but I did say this product was hot and I have really been loving it um, for a primer. It just really helps smooth the skin out before you put your foundation on and helps with the longevity of your foundation as well. And I just think it's really great for the price. The next thing I have been loving this month is the Benefit What's Up Highlighter. And mine is actually a little mini. This came in their, or actually the Sephora little birthday gift set, I think last year was it? But this is a really nice highlighter. And um, I actually somehow ended up with two of these and I have one in my professional kit and I have one for myself. And it's just really beautiful to tap on the high points of your cheeks to just give yourself a little glow. And I just think it's such a pretty highlighter. I don't hear too many people talking about this and using it, but I think it's worth taking a look at, especially if you are someone with drier skin and you want to use more of a cream highlighter, then I think this is a really good option. Now I have only had this product for a few weeks, but I definitely think it's worth mentioning and I'm really loving it. It is one of the new Milani matte blushes and it is in the shade Delicioso Pink, number... Okay. And it is in the shade Delicioso Pink number 10. And this blush is amazing. It is super pigmented, goes on the skin really well, blends out really well, and it's just a really pretty color. There was one other shade um, in these new ones that came out that were matte that's a little darker and a little more red, but I've just been really impressed with the Milani blushes overall. I only have one other one, but for a drugstore blush, these are pretty awesome. 
Now really quickly, I wanted to mention one new item that I have added to my collection from the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration line, and it is their night cream. Now you guys have heard me rave about their um, face wash and day cream. And I decided to pick up the night cream because I do have dry skin, especially in the winter. And I really wanted to make sure I had that deep hydration for nighttime. And just like all the other products, I have been very happy with this. I highly recommend this line to anyone with dry or dehydrated skin. And so far it has not let me down. Now for my last two favorites, it's kind of a combo-ish situation, but I'm gonna talk about this one first. And it is the Three Lab Perfect Cleansing Foam. Now I had no intention to own this. I didn't know it existed, but what happened was I had a damaged item in my Ipsy bag. And when I contacted them, they told me we will send you the replacements. You might not get the same stuff, but you know, we will send you something. And they ended up sending me um, a replacement as well as this full size cleansing foam. It's 3.4 ounces. I had never heard of this brand before, but when I looked it up, this is a fairly high end brand. It sold at Nordstrom. That's the place where I was reading about it. And it has really great reviews. And in fact, a full size bottle of this, I think is over $50, which is kind of crazy and also a little upsetting because I really do like it and I don't want to spend $50 on a face wash when this runs out. But for now, I am enjoying it. It smells amazing. There are a lot of different, I guess, essential oils in it. And the smell just really reminds me of kind of that really relaxing smell you kind of experience in a spa or when you get a facial. And I just really, really like this. And kind of sticking with the whole Ipsy theme. I just really wanted to talk about Ipsy in general because they have been really impressing me the last few months. Now there have been a few times where the stuff from Ipsy has been a little bit of a miss, but for the most part, I would say I have been pretty impressed, which leads me to my next favorite. This came in an Ipsy bag a few months ago and it is the Sexy Hair Spray Clay and it is a texturizing spray. I kind of just put this away and hadn't used it up until maybe about two weeks ago. And then I decided, what the hell, I'll try this. I was afraid it was gonna be like too much in my hair and make it sticky and weird. Cause I mean, it's spray clay. I guess, what are you really gonna expect? But I had been really interested in the Oribe texturizing um, spray. So I thought maybe this will be similar. And I actually really like it. It definitely adds some volume and like it says texture to your hair. So if you just wear your hair straight and spray it in, which I'm not gonna do right now, um, it will add a little extra oomph to it, that little bit of volume, and it will help hold your style. So I've been pretty impressed with this, and I'm wondering how it compares to the Oribe or Oribe um, texturizing spray. So if you've tried both, please let me know. But yeah, I've really been liking this one. All right, so that is all my favorites for February. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that maybe you got some ideas for new products to try or maybe gifts for friends. Um, I know it's not always about yourself. So maybe some of these things are good ideas. Like if your friend has a birthday coming up or hey, maybe you just wanna treat yourself. I am hoping to maybe have a second video go up this week. I can't make any promises depending on what my schedule looks like, but if it's not up Friday, it will be up next week. And it is a little add on to my previous brush cleaning video, which I know a lot of you all have found helpful. And this is gonna be a little cheap trick to help make your brush cleaning go a little faster and be a little more effective. So I'm excited to share that with you all. And as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and click that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. And I will see you all soon. Bye. No, no, come in my Ow. video. Ow. Come in, just really quick. The next thing I have been loving is my Benefit Watts. What's up? My favorite this month has been treats and wet food and kisses.